for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to entrance tests, like the civil service exam of Katlai, I feel sad, and all those things. Today, we're going to talk about another math video. This is part of our Math Monday series, and I really hope you're subscribed to this channel. Na. If you are don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss because I make at least one new video lesson every week. Today, we're going to talk about another part of the series on mixture problems. Na, I have made a lot of videos on this topic, na, and if you haven't seen those yet, don't forget to hit the i button right here sa taas para makahabol kayo kasi it's really best if you watch those videos first para meron na kayong foundation sa lesson na to before tayo mag-delve into this new topic kasi it's going to be a little more complicated than the first ones. Today we're going to talk specifically about reduction. So how do you reduce mixtures and how do you solve that type of problem? There's just a little bit of change dun sa ating equation in order for me to show you better. I'll switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, let's talk about mixture problems. Uh, we're going to talk about reduction. So, pang nagtatanggal tayo ng pure water, pure soil, or anything like that. Now, before we go on, I just want to go through itong basic concept natin. Now, if you haven't seen the other videos, like I said kanina, make sure that you click right here sa taas para mapanood nyo muna yun. Um, pero, I'll just give you a quick sample right here para lang ma-differentiate ninyo ito at saka yung mangyayari mamaya pag nagtatanggal na tayo. Okay? Now, the formula goes like this, right? We're going to put the information right here. Ako, I prefer putting the percentage inside. So, in this case, ang hinalo daw natin is 3 liters ng 8% vinegar. So, 8% vinegar siya, merong 3 liters. Tapos, hinalo natin siya sa 11 liter solution na 76% vinegar. Ang hinahanap is the new, new concentration of the vinegar. We put X here kasi siyang nawawala. And then, dito, we have 3 liters plus 11 liters. That's 14 liters. And then, solve down natin ito. Now, uh, ang traditional method, again, is gagawin mo siyang tarang decimal times 3 plus, and then here, you have 0 0.76 times 11 equals 14X. Pero ako kasi, I prefer na hindi ko na lang siya na decimal. Uh, pinapatong ko na lang yung yung percent sign sa dulo ng sagot just so I don't need to deal with decimals lalo na multiple yung mga places no? so I just put 8 times 3 plus uh, 76 times 11 so at, at least medyo it's easier on the eyes it's equal to 14x and then you just solve this so uh, 8 times 3 24 tapos plus 760 uh, plus 76 so 760 plus 76 this this is just uh, times 10 plus times 1 kasi times 11 siya okay so um it's just a suggestion if you want to do mental math uh, mas madali lang yun tapos you take 40 here uh, para mapuno to maging 800 so you have 800 and yung triangle mo 40 diyan magiging 36 na lang 36 okay it's equal to 14 x Tapos i-add natin ito. So, this will be 860 is equal to 14x. Divide mo both sides by 14 and then you'll get the answer. Okay? Now, um, the thing with this type of problem, like I said, would be it's tedious, it's long. Pero you have to kind of get a good grasp talaga of the concept in order for you to be confident pagdating sa exam. Kasi mahilig ang mga nagagawa na exam to... Um, well, switch things up a little bit. Uh, Iniiba-iba yung mga uh, types of questions. So, I really want you to be ready, lalo na if you're taking um, higher level exams like uh, UPCAT, LAE, PhilSAT, and MAT. Yung ganun. Uh, sa civil service, bihila naman yung sobrang hira. Pero in the recent years, kasi lumalabas na rin yung ganitong classing concept. That's the reason why uh, I'm discussing this. No? So, again, ang gagawin mo na 860 divided by 14. So that would be around 60 plus or 61 something percent. Okay, hindi ko na sa solve kasi hindi naman tong point natin. Okay, bago may magreklamo sa akin ha. Uh, we're just saving time. So ang ginagawa lang natin dito is uh, we are just basically um, con ano, putting them in, in contrast. Pag iiba lang natin. Kasi what I want you to understand is that pagdating sa uh, idea of using the formula, kaya nagiging plus is kasi you're literally mixing two things together. Yung, is, uh, yung, 13, yung 3 liters at yung 11 liters, pinagsasama mo sila at ang kalalabasan niya is a bigger, parang bigger amount. Okay? Kasi nagsama silang dalawa. Now, bakit ito importante? Kasi pagdating sa mga 
reduction problems like this one, okay, iba yung magiging sitwasyon. Sabi, 80 kilos of soil that is 20% clay has to be reformulated to turn it into 25% clay and make it to market. How much pure soil must be taken out to make it market ready? Okay, so there's a bit of analysis that goes on dito. Now, itong traditional nating formula, which is plus, magbabago yan kasi hindi ka na nagdadagdag. In this case, nagtatanggal ka. Binabawasan mo ngayon yung soil mo. Dati siyang 80 kilos, ang mangyayari, tatanggalin mo daw yung pure soil para maiwan yung 25% clay instead of 20%. Okay? So, uh, ano mangyayari dito? First and foremost, dahil nagtatanggal ka, okay, you're removing pure soil uh, para mas tumaas yung percentage ng clay, ang mangyayari dyan, hindi siya magiging plus. It will be minus. Bakit? Kasi, yung 80 kilos, mababawasan siya ngayon. Okay? Bakit? Um, you have to imagine, parang yung kumbaga kung nagluto nga tayo na sobrang asim na sinigang para mabawasan yung asim, uh, kung may posibilidad na tanggalin ko yung ibang sinigang mix, okay, tatabang din siya. Parang ganun yung idea. Or kung kunyari, masyadong mat matabang yung uh, sinigang mix mo, uh, pwede mong Actually, literal, pwede mong kuluin yun para mabawasan yung sabaw. Matu kasi mag-evaporate yung, yung pure water. Ma magiging mas solid or mas makapal yung lasa, uh, yung intense yung lasa ng sampalok. Kaya ba if you notice when you're cooking, um, kapag po sobrang masabaw yung inyong uh, adobo, masyado siyang maalat, okay? uh, pwede, uh, masyado siyang matabang pala, pwede mo siyang i-reduce or bawasan yung, yung sabaw. Uh, pakuloan mo siya na mas matagal para lalapot ngayon yung sabaw, magiging mas maalat siya. Okay? So, yun yung pinaka-idea niya when you're reducing. Nagbabawas ka ng amount. Okay? So, ang lalagay lang natin yung mga information na ano, nandito sa problem na yan. Okay? So, first, we have 80 kilos of soil na 20% clay. So, 20% clay, 80 kilos. Okay? Tapos, ang goal mo, kasi sabi to, has to be reformulated or babagoyin mo siya, gagawin mo or to turn it into 25% clay. So, gusto mo yung 20% clay, magiging 25% clay. Now, bakit dito ko siya nilagay? Kasi, ito yung, hina, ito yung uh, pinagsimulaan, ang gusto mo mangyari ito. Parang in the same way kanina, di ba? Pag pinaghalo mo yung kalalabasan. So, yung kalalabasan, dun mo siya ilalagay sa right side. Okay? Now, how much pure soil must be taken out to make it market ready? So, when we talk about pure soil, okay, uh, you have to understand muna ano yung difference ng soil sa clay, magkaiba ba sila. Now, uh, in this case, dahil we're talking about clay when it comes to the percentage, when we talk na pure soil, ang ibig sabihin na niyan would be, itong soil na kinukuha mo ay walang clay. Okay? Wal wala siyang clay. Pure soil siya. Kung pure clay siya, and I think we discussed this in video number three, um, dealing with pure vinegar, pure salt, pure soil, pure clay, uh, kapag pure soil, it would be 0% clay. Kung pure clay naman, it will be 100% clay. Now, dahil pure soil siya, ibig sabihin, wala nang, magtatanggal ka ng pure soil yung walang clay para mas, di ba, para mas ma, tumaas yung percentage ng clay na laman. Um, itong babawas natin, hindi yun ang hindi alam. Kasi nakalagay, how much pure soil must be taken out? So, ito yung nagiging X, tapos, ito yung magiging produkto. Now, obviously, dahil nag uh, 80 kilos ka, minus X amount of kilos, okay, ang kalabasan nito would be 80 minus X. Now, sana natin ako yung 80 minus X. Ito lang yon 80 minus X. Kasi kanina, di ba, uh, nung naghalo tayo, in natin sila. So, kunyari, uh, 20 plus 10, 20 plus 30, gano'n. Kung, an kung ano yung dami ng kilos, i-add mo lang siya. Now, in this case, dahil minus, iba minus mo lang siya, 80 minus x. And then, we're going to solve it. So, um, 20 times 80, that would be 1,600. Inumultiply lang natin, minus, and then 0% x, so 0x is equal to, and 25%, i-distribute lang natin siya. So, ang 25%, Okay, kasi 25, apat na 25 is 100. Or, so, ibig sabihin ang apat, ang 14 na 25 is 1,000. Dalawang 
40 ang 80, so that would be 2,000. Uh, yung sinabi ko na yun, I'm just walking you through what goes on in my head when I do, do mental math, no? Pero you can also solve it ng mano-mano. So, pwede mong gawin na 25 times 80. Um, kung comfortable kayo dyan, it's the same thing. Ang sinasabi ko lang, um, na-explain ko lang yung thought process ko. In, the, in case some of you want to know kung ano yung parang faster way to do it mentally. Okay? So, 1,600 minus 0x. 1,600 na lang yan. It's equal to 2,000 minus 25x. Now, ang goal natin ngayon is to keep uh, everything positive at saka ihihiwalay natin yung x dun sa number side. Now, dahil negative yung aking x dito, siya ngayon ililipat ko siya sa kabila. Okay? At pag nilipat ko siya sa kabila, magiging 25x na siya. Tapos, itong 1,600 naman ililipat ko doon, positive siya dito, magiging negative din siya doon. So, that would be 2,000 minus 1,600. Ito, ito, equalities lang yan, ha? Uh, if hindi nyo alam kung bakit naging ganun, bakit siya naging negative, bakit siya naging positive, panoorin nyo na lang yung video on equalities, okay? So, 25x is equal to 2,000 minus 1,600, that would be 4,000, eh, sorry, 400. Tapos, i-divide mo lang siya by 25. So, then, x is equal to 16. Okay, saan ko kinuha yung 16? Again, you can do it manually. So, 400 divided by 25. Or, ang um, ginawa ko lang doon, kasi, di ba, ay apat nga na 25 sa 100, eh, apat na 100 to. So, apat times apat, that would be 16. So, the answer would be 16 kilos. So, in order for you to form 25% na clay, okay, para daw maging market ready yung, yung ibibenta, ang kailangan mong gawin, is uh, to subtract or to take away 16 kilos of pure soil na 0% clay in order for you to turn it into 25%. Okay? So again, ano ang pinakamalaking difference? Pinakamalaking difference is the sign. When you're taking away stuff, ima-minus mo siya. Okay? So ang dilemma here would be, ito yung dalawang things that you have to take note of. Number one, ito. Okay? If you're reducing things, if you're taking away water, taking away vinegar or whatever, kahit percentage pa, if you're removing 40% alcohol from the mixture, ganun. anything like that, babawasan mo. Okay? Another thing you want to take note of is this percentage. Again, kung pure soil, 0% clay. Kung pure clay, 100% naman siya. Kasi some people get confused about that. So pag sinabi ko, ang advice ko sa inyo, pag sinabing 20% clay, ibig sabihin nun, uh, dun sa, kunyari, isang kilo, 20% 20, 20 of that one kilo ay clay. Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. So, you actually have a choice here kung ang gagamitin ninyong percentage ay yung clay or yung dun sa pure soil. Pero since pure soil naman yung, eh, pure, uh, clay naman yung hinahanap doon dun sa right side or yung naging resulta, eh, maintained yung clay. Kaya naging 0% yung nilagay ko dyan. Okay? Now, uh, there would be a secret link dito sa uh, video na ito. Now, at the end of this video, there will be a link to your quick quiz. It will be a secret link para you can practice uh, itong problem na to in a few questions that I wrote up for you guys. Okay? So, there's really no way for you to remember this than to just keep practicing. So, I suggest that you try out yung ating quick quiz na yon. Alright? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this with your friends. Lalo na kung exam din sila para mas malami pa yung matulungan. And, as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe find out yung mga upcoming live review events or join the online review program or get some of the reviewers that I made, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.